Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 5. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 18 of Book 5. Before we begin, a couple definitions. The componendal ratio of A to B is A plus B compared to B. The separandal ratio of A to B is A minus B to B. All right, so these are just two definitions. This proposition is very similar to the proposition from 17. In actual fact, it's the inverse proposition of 17, which states that if we have two ratios, AE to EB and CF to FD, and these two ratios are equal, then A to B, sorry, AB to EB will be equal to CD to DF. Or if we're just using simple letters from letters to represent a magnitude, so one letter, one magnitude, I find it a bit easier to read. This proposition is stating that if we have two ratios, A to B and C to D, that are equal, that also means that A plus B to B would be equal to C plus D to D. So this proof we're going to do by contradiction which basically means we are going to assume that this proof is not true and then hopefully come up with a logical inconsistency. Here, are, here is our initial conditions. AE to EB is equal to CF to FD. We are going to assume that this proposition is not true. So in other words, we are assuming that the ratio CD to DF is not equal to AB to BE. So here is our assumption that the proposition is not true. So we're going to, somewhere along the line, we must have a ratio that is equal, and we are going to find the point G such that AB to EB is going to be equal to CD to DG. We are also going to assume that in this particular instance, that GD is less than FD. So here is the ratios that are equal. Now, since ratios that are proportional this way means that they're proportionally separando, basically Proposition 17, which states that if AB to EB is equal to CD to DG, then AE to EB would be equal to CG to GD. This comes from proposition 17. But AE to EB is equal to CF to FD. So we have AE to EB here and AE to EB here. So in other words, this ratio and this ratio are also equal. So now we have that CG to GD is equal to CF to FD. This is according to Proposition 11. Now according to Proposition 14, if we have two ratios that are equal, if CG is larger than CF, then GD is larger than FD. Well, CG is larger than CF, so CG is larger than CF. That means that CG, sorry, that GD is greater than FD. Let me just restate that because I stumbled a bit. If these two ratios are equal, that means that if CG is greater than CF, which it is in this case, that would imply that GD would be greater than FD. But we started assuming that GD was less than FD. So now we have GD is less than FD, GD is greater than FD. And there is our log logical inconsistency. These two things cannot both be true. And if that cannot both be true, then our original assumption 
must be false. So CD to DF not equal to AB to BE is false, which basically gives us if AE to EB is equal to CF to FD, then CD to DF would be equal to AB to BE. And there we have our proposition has been proven. And that concludes this video presentation. To see the next presentation, just click the next button.